Right guys, so today in the workshop, we had this awesome looking chopped 200 series Land Cruiser. Now, one of the things I really like about this, obviously, is the color, but just the practicality and still a simplistic way of setting up a vehicle. So it's not too overdone. Um, it's actually just really, really neat. So let's go through the vehicle from the front to the back and run you through it as well as run you through our product. So on the front of the vehicle, it's running a TJM bar as well as the TJM brush rails and side steps coming all the way through. On the front end as well, a TJM winch. On the front of that is sporting a set of spotlights. It's light force spotlights as well as a light force LED light bar underneath the Rhino rack with the base rack option there. So just giving you that backbone side rail, nice sleek look. Now very handy and quick place to get is your Max Trax right on the top and it's got the Max Trax pinch for just quick release option. On the bull bar as well is the two GME antennas. So whether it's for a VHF radio and possibly another cell fire unit or potentially a UHF as well. So the back of the vehicle has been fitted out. And one last thing just, just to have a look at as well is this chop, as far as the chassis extension goes, isn't too long. So that wheel is sitting right up close. Underneath there is the full TJM suspension with remote reservoir shock absorbers, as well as a set of method race wheel alloy rims and a set of 33 inch Falcon tires on there. Now, as far as the canopy goes, ASG 4x4, did a real neat job here. Very simple, practical canopy with a good use of space. You've obviously got your water filler on this side, the diesel filler on the opposite side. And talking about diesel, this vehicle has been fitted out with a Brown Davis long range fuel tank in the rear as well. So huge amount of fuel for those long distance traveling. Quite handy having the canopy just short of the tray. That way, as you can see on the back here, there's place for a jerry can or a water can. In fact, there's probably enough place to get two of them next to each other side by side, as well as the spare wheel. Now, something a little bit different today is the fitting of our AX27 rooftop tent. And as we would say, the other way around or backwards as it were. So this tent is actually opening up on the front. And the reason why, and we're getting quite a few customers doing this, is because it is easier for them to enter the tent. You've got a bit of a platform in which you can sit down and take your shoes off and leave your muddy boots behind, as it were, when you get there. Not just that, we've also fitted our 270 XT Max awning, and that is still fitted on the passenger side. So what I'm gonna do is run around and actually climb up the ladder. So the ladder gets attached to the side of the roof rack and simply climb up the ladder like that onto the top platform here. Great, comfortable, you know, you're really sure-footed when you get up here as well because you've got this whole platform to work off. So feeling that little bit of extra security instead of standing on a ladder. Same kind of thing applies, simply release your two latches. I'm gonna get on my knees over here, pop the rooftop tent, that'll automatically open up as you can see like that. Pull down the bungee strap. And this is the, you know, really easy. Now, with the spring rods, we have cut down a spring rod to suit the spring rod adapter bracket. And that is this over there. That's to clear the front arm of the max awning. So simply pull that out, place it into position, and slowly pull down and let that slide all the way in. And then the other spring rod will do exactly the same process. This goes into its standard fitting position. And the nice thing is you can really do this with absolute ease. I must be honest, it's actually a real nice way to have your tent. From here, as you can imagine, it comes time to taking your shoes off. You can simply sit in the tent, take your shoes off, wake up in the morning, you've got a nice outlook and a nice secure platform to get back out onto. From this position, let me come down and show you on the awning. So, same thing applies, a lot of space. You can simply climb down the ladder, like this, all the way down. Now as far as the awning goes, the awning opens up in a standard left-hand format. So simply run the YKK zippers all the way to the front, like that, and open this up with its two Velcro straps coming down, like that and like that. Remove the bag. Now, I usually like taking the front arms, just give myself enough play there. Now the nice thing with this is, you can literally walk it around the vehicle we have attached a strap hook bracket onto the side of the tent, but it'll work absolutely stunning for this one and not be in your way when you're climbing up. You simply hook it around the max track pin on that end over there. So that's secure and keeps it out the way. And then the rear, take it all the way around the rear like this. Attach it onto the strap hook bracket and simply 
adjust your awning to suit. Now tighten up the back, I'm gonna come back to the front, tighten that section there. Now, as far as the canopy and layout goes, on the opposite side of the canopy, a real simple system, but you've got literally a three to four drawer configuration with plenty of storage space. And on this side, a kitchen ready to go. So as you can see, huge coverage over the, um, over the kitchen area. The awning is massive. You can literally seat there or access your car and be out of the weather, as well as a huge amount of sitting space around the back. As far as this goes, Bushman stand-up fridge. We've got an Enerdraft power unit there with a whole bunch of 12 volt outlets as well as a 240 volt power bank. So it must be running an inverter system. We've got the travel buddy camp oven over there and just a really nice simple little slide out table there to prepare food on and cook on as well as a top pantry drawer which can slide out still with that basic storage space in the rear. Now, not just that, but the canopy as well has got a pull-out trundle drawer from the back for all that heavier storage that you want to keep down low. For example, for your recovery gear, as well as two large storage boxes on either side. Perfect for tools and all those spare parts. Guys, thank you for watching this video on this walkthrough of this beautifully uh, made Sandy Torp chopped 200 series Toyota Land Cruiser with our AX27 rooftop tent and our 270 XT Max. For more information on our products, go to thebushcompany.com. Don't forget to go bush, and I hope to see you out there. Catch you later.